what's good guys welcome back to ron's rise welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video where i'm here at maserati of st petersburg with this beautiful heavily optioned out maserati gricale mold enough for the 2024 model year this has over thirteen thousand dollars worth of options on this specific spec behind me here today i love it and i'm going to show it off to you guys walk you around take you into the options everything for the 2024 model year see if this is the right maserati gricale for you now this video wouldn't be possible without Maserati St. Petersburg, so make sure you guys check them out. Link in the description below and their phone number just in case you guys want to get any of the Maserati Gricales or any of their Maserati models here today in your driveway. So for the 2024 model year, Maserati hasn't changed much when it comes to the Gricale. This is only the second year it's been out. It's barely been out two years. So with that said, it's one of those things to where they've updated like two things, but that's pretty much it. You'll see in the interior. Really, the Fair Siri program or Maserati's customization program is here for the Gricale, so you can customize this and do whatever you want to it when it comes to those paint options, wheel options, interior, trim, all that good stuff. So that's your biggest changes for 2024, really. So if you know the 2023, you'll pretty much know the 2024. Now, when it comes to your total dimensions, we got to mention those, right? Wheelbase at 114.2 inches with a length of 190.8 inches, a width of 76.7 inches, and a overall height of 65.6 inches. Now, let's talk about the power for the Gricale because in the Modena spec, you're looking at a turbocharged 16-valve inline-4 2-liter with an 8-speed transmission. Now, this has direct injection and 325 horses under the helm with 332 pound-feet of torque. Now, as you guys can see, the engine cover looks very similar to the Alfa Romeo engine cover, but with the Maserati script and Trident and that strut bar just like the Alfa Romeo Stelvio, again, because it is on the Giorgio platform. Now, while she is a little heavy at 4,425 pounds, well, the zero to 60 time is going to be in 5.3 seconds with a 149 mile per hour top speed. Now, what we're looking at is a beautiful Nero Tempesta paint. Black Tempesta, I mean, Wow, look at the flavors and colors in here. Very volcano black, like the Alfa Romeo model that this is obviously kind of based on, right? Same Giorgio platform as the Alfa Romeo Stelvio on the Gricale, but this has a hybrid powertrain over that model and obviously a lot more options, a lot more luxurious and, you know, kind of loaded up when it comes to the Giorgio platform. But keep in mind, the Maserati Gricale is one of the first of the new generation Maseratis, first came the MC20, and then trickled down from the MC20 came this styling design, trickled down from this styling design came the Gran Turismo. So what we see up front is the Maserati's new design language. As you guys can see, the headlamps, full LEDs here, look how they would look on the MC20. Take from that and same for the Gran Turismo. As you guys can see, the LED lights here and this kind of C shape here with the tri points there, as you guys know, Maserati is good for that with their portholes and everything else. You can see the tri points here and the design as well. The Maserati Trident right there on the side, all the little Easter eggs here. And we will see these all illuminated by the end of the video. Now, keep in mind, we also have the Maserati logo here with the insignia there. Right in the middle, we have the big Trident because we have level two ADAS, which is this driver's assistance uh, technology. So we have it all packed into the Trident there. We have big vertical uh, slamps there. And then you also see the kind of grill, mesh grill in the back or honeycomb grill, shall I say, in the back to kind of give it that cooling, but at the same time, protect the radiator back there. Now you also will see that same kind of grill pattern on the lower fascia, but you will see a gloss black lip. When I say gloss black, it's not Nero Tempesta. You can see the sparkles here to where this is actually a gloss black because every Modena model comes with a gloss black front lip. So just because this is, you know, Nero Tempesta doesn't mean that this will be. And then you got the side vents here with the same kind of mesh kind of honeycomb grill. And again, with the vertical blades, but done in gloss black and the gloss black surround, not Nero Tempesta. So keep that in mind. Take a step back and look at it all together. That's how she's looking for the Modena model. Now the side profile, that looks good, especially with these 21 inch Pegaso forged wheels and they are staggered. And obviously 
the yellow brake calipers or giallo calipers with the black script love that look against the neo tempesta and as you guys can see we're wrapped in continental tires cross contacts and then this whole rim setup for the pegaso rims look really good looks crazy to clean when you have to wash your car um you also have the body color wheel wells as you guys can see so the wheel well it's the same body color same going across with the side skirt you will see all of that done in black as well now you guys will see the portholes maserati's classic signature portholes but with aluminum at the top black at the bottom and functional as usual and then the mold and the badge letting you know which model we are working with here today mirror caps are done in the same Nero tempesta paint and we have aluminum for the door handle covers but underneath is the actual e-latch there for the door handles now you guys will also see gloss black on the window moldings you will see a big glass roof because we have a panel roof up there so all glass with the black shark pin antenna and then right below or sorry right next to the c pillar you guys see that Tritus done in black. I mean, that looks so so good. Blends in very nicely, but when you do see it, it pops out. And then coming around here, you will see the gloss black spoiler going around the back with the uh, Neo Tempesta blended in. It's just wow. This Florida Sun is doing this this car some justice. I'm telling you guys, it is a paid actor. The way that it is showing off this Gracale Modena. Now the rear looks really really good to me. Uh, very just kind of sleek. Um, it just flows and it's very uh, symmetrical. I mean, everything kind of works together with the rear of this thing. No complaints here, especially on the Modena flavor in black because not only do you have the Nero Tempesta paint, but you also have the black out quad exhaust tips with the shark fin rear diffuser done in gloss black as well. So that is a really cool look with this whole spec. You also have your reflectors done vertically there. And then obviously the boomerang tail lamps look really good with the integrated brake lights going straight into the strike through with the Maserati script there. That looks really cool. I love how they designed that and I brought that up before. That's just, uh, again, a really flowy spec. No broken lines there. It just goes from one end to the other. Love that. And then obviously the Gucale badge right there as well. And then we have the third brake light integrated into the spoiler there. As you guys can see, hide under there. Again, this is a cool looking setup when it comes to the rear of uh, the Gucale. Now, when it comes to cargo volume, you're looking at around 20 cubic feet of space for your Gracale. And again, you hear that same chime you'd hear on an Alfa Romeo model because it's the same setup. 40-20-40 split. We have our rear privacy shade, which has been upgraded for the Gracale. Looks really good. Really nice material there. And I just love the quality feel of that. Now, also, you'll have one up top as well. Both removable. If you guys look, they're pretty easy to just move off of their tracks and go now we have a couple of things back here uh, we'll get to in the sticker but this is a front plate kit just in case you need to mount a front plate as well first aid kit we have an umbrella back there we got a little bit of everything cargo mats as you guys can see here it says maserati in the script with the trident there all that good stuff we'll talk about in the accessory package but if i lift under you will see well we have a tire and plate kit there and then we have our tow hook screwdriver and what do you know battery underneath and when it comes to fuel economy you're looking at 25 22 and 29 so 25 city and highway 22 city 29 highway and maserati would love you to put 95 or premium fuel inside of your Gracale. let's show you how she lights up the night with the full led illumination as you guys can see the switchback lights from bright white to amber you guys can see how those all work together with the tri-lights, with the Maserati signature there, and the trident right there, all together with that LED headlamp. Looks really good. Then we have, in the mirror cap, the amber reflector. And then, at the rear, we have the big boomerang tails with the flashers there. Take a step back. It looks sinister and black. Now we do have Maserati's new Gracale key fob or new key fob in general that debuted with the Gracale. And as you guys can see, it looks really good with the lock button up top, the unlock button, truck release, and panic button on this side with the leather face and the aluminum sides all the way around to the other end with the aluminum trident. You also have a physical button. As you guys can see the corner here, you can actually pull out a physical key just in case this key fob battery dies and you need to get into your car bypassing the e-latch. 
Now let's hop inside of the Gracale because this interior is my favorite part about this car and it has been since it came out because it's so different from anything we've seen Maserati before. Such a big upgrade. I mean, look at this guys. Look at this. This looks phenomenal. Where do we start? 14 way power adjustable sport seats done in Giallo and Nero, which is perforated, heated and ventilated. We also have the Chevron pattern there. We have extra thigh support. Great, right? Aluminum for the adjustments there. And we have the aluminum side, so you guys can't see that there. On the door paneling, check that out. Carbon fiber, Nero leather, Sonos fiber for the speakers, done in aluminum. The gloss black window switches and the aluminum and gloss black mirror controls. But now we hop in and we have the door latch button right there in black and chrome. And this is where you want to be. Now for 2024, start stop button is now blue across the full lineup. You only used to get that blue on the Trofeo models. But now for 2024, you get blue in the GT, the Modena, and the Trofeo version. So foot on the brake because we have 33 inches of screen real estate to light up. There we are. All right, so we got a lot going on here, guys. It's a big learning curve. Um, definitely, you know, something that we'll have to make a full video on. Just talking about all the new features on this thing. But for starters, as you guys can see, we have the Maserati MIA system, which is ran through Uconnect 5, Alexa, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, your profiles you can set up, all kinds of stuff on this thing. As you guys can see, we have a home button where we have everything customized how we want it. We have a media button for phone connection, radio controls, everything there, navigation. We have our phone for pairing for Bluetooth and the device manager there. Vehicle, this is gonna show you different things about the car, like the screen off, the mirror dimmer, and the rear view camera. Show you guys how big that thing is. And then also, we got our apps here, our different apps we can use throughout the car. Cause again, this is ran through Alexa. So, you know, keep that in mind. There's so much going on here. It's hard to even go over. Then we talk about the drive mode selector. This is how you go into your different drive modes or your different gear selectors. Should I say gear selector? That's what it is. Park, reverse, neutral, drive, manual. Whoops, <laughs> manual. <laughs> Put it back in park. All right, now if you were wondering where your electric parking brake is, it's right here on this side. So that is your actual electric parking brake. We'll get more into other stuff in just a moment with your driving. Hazard lights, you can turn off this little eight inch LCD screen, which is our comfort screen. It gives us our clock here. We can change all of that to different things like a compass pedals, G meter, all that stuff will change here. We also have our seat controls. Since these are sport seats, we can tighten the bolsters or loosen them for the passenger and driver. We also have menu controls there and our lighting controls for our headlights. You're wondering how to turn them on. Wonder how to do just the DRLs or turn them off. You do it here. You also have our HVAC controls or if you want to do quick HVAC controls, you can use the quick commands or I don't want to say like quick commands, but like shortcut functions. Drag my hand. Well, let me get out of that. Hold on, let me go to the actual climate controls get out of this drag it and you'll see i'm changing the fan speed and then i'm cooling it down how i want it to my temp so we're gonna make it icy in here also we have our parking uh, parking sensors there start stop button hill descent and our esc turning the traction off ambient lighting here as well we're warm neutral cold and then if we go into sport mode we can turn it red so much stuff here guys volume controls for your radio or you can do the mute button right there that's just a, the tip of the iceberg but again we can go deeper into this another time underneath the comfort screen is a wireless charging pad we also have our carbon fiber trim right here in the middle with extra stowage and a usb 2.0 and usb-c plug-in we also have our cup holders here as well with our beautiful armrest done in nero with giallo and you can see that's it, pretty deep down there RF transmitter for the key fob, just in case that key, uh, key, fob, key fob battery dies. Also look up, natural lighting for the panel roof. And then we look on the dash, Nero and Giallo. Leather all across, perforated leather in the center makes this even more premium there. And then Giallo and Nero underneath that. It's just so cool, big glove box there. The HVAC vents go all the way across when it comes to the styling. Look at that, it is a beautiful setup. Now look at the steering wheel. I mean, wow, flat bottom, obviously the airbag here with the uh, Maserati Trident there, the aluminum, kind of dark aluminum, which is new for 2024 as well. So again, this style here and this blue button, new for 2024. Obviously, there's a lot going on when it comes to this. 
let's start over here where we have our drive mode selector. That's our gear selector. This is our drive mode selector where I turn this to left or right. I go between sport mode, GT, and comfort mode. And it will all change here as well. Change the different dynamics of the car. Obviously, sport mode being your most aggressive. Comfort being your most comfort mode. I mean, your most comfortable mode. You know, it just, it, it's that easy. Then we have our driver assistance controls over here, as you guys can see. And then in the back, our radio controls, we can turn up and down the volume or change the stations on each side. Now, we also have over here our hands-free controls, as you guys can see, and our menu controls for our big digital instrument cluster i mean come on look at this so we can change our different information as you guys can see it's changing on the left hand side or i can go to change the whole complete configuration by going to the cluster layout hitting okay and then going between classic to evolved or if i want to go from evolved to relaxed all kinds of stuff you can do with this car guys it's crazy again it's just a big learning curve for a lot of people but it is worth it i'm telling you guys now look up and you will see the controls for the moonroof or sunroof or panel roof, whatever you want to call it. The dome lights, SOS, all that stuff is up here. And we have our home link for our garage door opener. And then we have a mirror with a nice little light there. Now, I love the rear of the Grucale as much as I love the front because it's exactly the same. I mean, check it out. The door paneling tells us everything. Nero leather, giallo stitching, micro twill, I can never say it, <laughs> macro twill, carbon fiber trim. Sonos Fiber sound system for both the speakers there. Gloss black. We have the E-latch door handles. I mean, come on. It all looks beautiful. The side sill here with the Maserati script. The Chevron pattern sport seats perforated. Nero leather, giallo stitching, giallo on the headrest. It's all exactly the same. Hopping inside, no plastic on the back. Nice soft touches, leather feel with the leather stowage, right? Nice. LCD screen for our climate control setup. Down below and you will see our USB-C and USB 2.0 plugins for charging. Also, if you were to look in the armrest, you will see we have some cup holders per usual. Look up top, you will see natural sunlight. It's just a great place to be when it comes to a Maserati SUV. Now let's talk about the sticker for the 2024 Grucale Modena and with this Nero Tempesta paint and Nero and Giallo interior starting life at $78,500. I told you we had a lot on here though. So after a $1,195 destination and $300 delivery, we're looking at $93,760. Now, how did we get there? Let's talk about it. Our climate package at $2,050, which gives us all of our climate stuff, like ventilated front seats, heated, heated rear seats, the heated steering wheel, all that good stuff. Then you also have the Sport Premium uh, black and yellow seats here, $4,400 for these seats. Tri-Zone Climate Control, $1,100, which is that LCD screen in the back for your climate control. You also have the Carbon Macro 12 trim, $2,000. The Pegasus wheels, 21 inches, $3,200. And Gloss Yellow Calibers, $600. Then you have your accessories, which we saw back there, at $415. And that's going to give you your luggage compartment net and mat, roadside uh, kit, the first aid kit, microfiber cloth, vent, valve cap stems, all that good stuff right there. So that is what makes this Grucale $93,000. Now, this is everything that comes standard on the $78,500 base price. So make sure you guys zoom in on this, screenshot it, and take it with you. Do whatever you need to do to see everything we have here when it comes to the Grucale for 2024 and see if you're good with a standard version with maybe like an option or two but nothing too crazy or if you want something specifically like this with these exact options well you come to the right place to get it so $93,000 for the Grucale Modena how are you guys feeling about the specific spec behind me here today I want to know because I love it I believe the interior is always going to be my favorite but I want to know what you guys think so drop those comments down below now if you guys want to help further support the channel and the dealership make sure you give them a call and check their link in the description below get one of these models in your driveway also check out the Ron's Rise merch and subscribe to the channel but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video and with that said you guys be blessed have a great day we will talk to you guys in the next video peace